Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Arc the Lab 3. We are back in North Solarto as part of our little return trip to all the previously visited places. Uh, was there even a guild in Society Village? I don't think there was, no. Right, right. we want to be... No, also not here. Well, I don't remember this place at all, apparently. Yes, Gislam, of course. We'll see if there are any new jobs here. Um, but I'm pretty sure there are going to be at least new... Oh. Well, at least new um, hunting quests. Also, just out of curiosity, while I'm here, even though that wasn't really planned, might as well check if there's anything new at the Danger Dome. Um... Oh, right. I don't know, what was it that you had to trade in for something better? Do I have something left over? Maybe the Titanium Blade that's that I don't really need? Shimmer Stone. Um, right, so I forgot that they're gonna tell me beforehand. I don't know, this doesn't seem different, though. Seem pretty much like the same guys. Maybe I'll check that out at some point off camera. But honestly, well, I, I guess I could watch my previous video on this, on the Danger Dome, to remind myself what I had already found out, because I don't really remember anymore what the specific combinations were, or, you know. Oh. There's the guild, right there. Okay, you're gonna tell me about new jobs as well? Yes. <clears throat> okay. But, except jobs, no jobs. But just to make sure... Just to make sure I'm not being screwed over again. So yeah, that's of course the one that I missed. Okay, nothing new in the list so far, which is good. Um, 69 is the one we're currently at, but now that the game is done once, I can't really rule out the possibility that there may be more uh, higher numbers available already somewhere. Okay, we've got some new enemy types here. Uh, well, at least one new enemy type, and these robots, I don't think... I'm not sure if we've seen those in this game. I think we have. A couple. Pistario, the Gas Cloud. And Galecki Falls. Solazar, the Hell Guardian, and Sabi Wiles. Judas, the Skull Knight, and also Galecki Falls. Celluloid, the CAA-5. Combat Armed Android, or something. Ruin City, makes sense, I guess. Spooky Spot, uh, <laughs> spooky, spooky Slot. Okay, the PA-200. Also Sabi Wiles. And... The Rehith, the Armored Tortoise, also in Ruin City. Okay, so we have two in each area. Like, makes sense, in a way. Well then, no new jobs, but new monsters to hunt. So, then you know the drill. I'm going to go hunt for them. Show them off if the fight seems interesting at all. And if not, I, I'm just going to tell you what I got afterwards. So, see you in a moment. Okay, I'm showing off this fight here. This is the second monster, actually, in Sabi Wilds. Uh, the first one was the Gargoyle. Um, not a very remarkable fight at all. It took me a while to steal, and it was only a recovery tonic, so that was a bit of a letdown. Um, however, I'm showing off this, not only because we haven't, we haven't fought many of these uh, robots so far, but um, it took me forever to actually uh, get this monster to show up. At least a dozen attempts. Which, uh, you know, takes some time each time. And in the interest of making a video, or getting a video done uh, before midnight, basically. Um, I guess I'm going to record some material here. These normal enemies are... I'm not sure if these are the same that we encountered here for the first time. Honestly, they seem a little bit high level for that. Um, but I might be wrong. In any case, they're 
not anything special. Especially these tortoises, obviously. Pretty low level. Okay, step up, that's annoying, but not too bad. You can attack that turtle, dealing very little damage, but oh well. I guess you can just go ahead and... Uh, actually... Yeah, I should definitely heal him. That uh, Gargoyle, if nothing else, um, dealt a ton of damage. Like over 150, sometimes. I don't know how hard this... Uh, this, this robot is going to punch, but it's probably pretty hard. She might take out all of these in, at once, that would be nice. Well, not quite. That's unfortunate. Basically, it only means that they'll take two additional turns, wasting more of my time. Everyone's time, really. Meanwhile, I try to get as many kills with Velhard as possible to have him catch up to the others as quickly as possible. Although he's honestly already there. Okay. Here we go. You can try and steal. Steal failed, of course. That's pretty much expected at this point. Um, I do continue curing, though. That should have mostly topped off lots, if not topped him off entirely. Okay, there we go. Two less enemies to worry about. Top alloy. 150, yeah. That's pretty much expected. You can kill the turtle, maybe? Yep. Okay. Steal. Anti-personnel bomb. Well, I mean, it's not not a rare item or let alone a unique one. But it's better than nothing. It's definitely better than a general tonic. Maybe not in terms of what the game considers these enemies, to, uh, these these items to be worth. Oh, I didn't expect to get that kill there, but it's fine. Spooky slot exterminated. Right. Well then, that takes care of the first two. I guess I'm going to be moving on to the ruins next, since they're right here. And um, I'm gonna pause until I find the first room. We'll see how interesting that one looks. Um, okay, and we are here fighting the next robot. Because we have a nice mix of enemies that we haven't seen too many of so far. Um, let's start with these. Oh wow, these are actually super weak. Oh, Sleeping Gust is high-ish level, if nothing else. These are only level 15, wow. 17, hmm. Wonder what's up with that weird mix. Oh, okay, decent counterattack. Uh, can I hit all of these, I wonder? I think I can if I do this, yeah, easily. Oh, blammo. That dealt not nearly as much damage as I hoped. Okay, I guess you can take care of this gas ball here. If you could hit it, that is. Okay, yeah, that, that shade is just going to die on the side. Oh. Somehow, many enemies seem to, to really um, target lots specifically. I don't know why that is. Shimmer Stone. Okay, that's, that was fast. I appreciate that. What was that? Huh. Okay. Oh, are they sleeping? I guess so. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Sans. Alec cannot cure that, but that's okay. Let's see, what do I do here? I guess I'm just going to deal some damage, honestly. Yeah, nice. Well. That thing. Yep, he attacks lots, that's okay, lots wakes up. 
Oh, come on, really? Hmm. If I didn't know any better, I would say that the Shade actually acted smartly for not attacking and thus waking up Bellhart. But in reality, it's just that weird fixation with uh, LUTs that they have, seem to have. Let's see here, knife rain. Uh, yeah, let's just take care of these two enemies here. He really doesn't need the experience. But uh, it's okay. Doesn't hurt either. Attack plus two. Defense, agility, and magic. Wow, that's a great level up. Okay. Do need some curing here. Especially Lutz, of course. Uh, she's 74... Uh, sorry, 47, of course. Mm, the arc is a bit closer to leveling. So I guess... Uh, it really doesn't matter. If she can get the kill... She can get the kill, it's fine. Nope, okay, it's well hard. Unless he misses again. And he did. Well then. Let's try stealing from him. Bigger seed. Oh, wait. Wait, bigger seed? Isn't that... What is that exactly? Wait, bigger seed. That's not wrong. Oh, yes, it is. Mm, okay, that's just poison cure. Got me all excited there for a second. Should have known better. Okay, we'll cure again. Interesting that the enemies that put to sleep drop poison cure. But then again, why wouldn't they? Oh, oh, okay, I was gonna say, it's still not dead. No, it totally is. Okay. Attack, defense, magic? Huh? Decent. Celluloid exterminated. Wait, was he called celluloid? No. Oh, something like that. Celludroid, maybe? Okay, um, I'm going to pause again. I don't remember quite what the other enemy in the city was. But chances are I'm not going to show it off, but rather move on to uh, the next area, right, Galecki Falls, after this. Anyway, you'll see in just a second. And we're in Galecki Falls. Um, the other monster in the city was just a turtle that dropped a tough alloy, or a, a stole one from it, rather. Get some more mechanical enemies here, as well as the Pistario, level 57. Okay. Let's do this. Um, this should not be difficult at all. Since these robots are very low level. So let's see how annoying the, the gas cloud is going to be. Um, hit point wise, yeah. Since uh, Lutz does not have extreme defense, really, and uh, is forced to be constantly in the face of the strongest enemy, to attempt to steal. He's also constantly taking heavy damage. Um, I wish I could attack more enemies at once with him, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just finish this one off. They're not going to be worth much experience anyway. A bomb received, yay. Okay. Changed over to Marcia to give her some extra experience. She can probably kill these in one blow. She deals extreme damage, yeah. Look at that. Okay. And Mint received. Uh, wait, Mint is just... What is that? Isn't that just a curing item as well? Yeah. Wow, that's lame. That's really lame. Um, sure, you can take this thing. Still 100 left. Sure, why not? Let's her, let her finish it off. And level up, maybe? Yeah, I was gonna say, it was 10 levels higher than her. It should be worth a lot. Magic up, magic up. Awesome. Oh, he's... right, he's poisoned. Um, you know what? 
You don't use this very often, so go ahead and cure yourself, even though it's going to be cured after the fight anyway. You can cure his hit point loss so he doesn't start the next fight at almost nothing. And you can finish off this last turret. Easy, easy. Right, Pistario exterminated. How fitting. Okay, and the last one was... What, what was it? A skeleton, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll we'll try once on camera. We might, might get lucky. Pistario I, I encountered immediately upon entering here, so maybe... Maybe it'll happen twice in a row, although with the same basic encounter, I'm not sure if that's how it works. Might be that uh, a particular encounter... Yeah, I'm gonna go with the same team, too. Uh, it's always tied... or uh, um, Water Monster is always tied to uh, the same basic encounter, but apparently not. Or I guess maybe they're both tied to the same one in this case. Okay. Uh, how hurt are you? Not hurt at all. That's good. Um, you just hang back here, I guess. Wait for Judas to come. Oh, wow, he can walk farther than expected, and he deals a ton of damage. That's almost a little bit frightening. Um, he only has 200 hit points. I'm not sure if I'd want to attack him for fear of counterattack. That might kill him. I guess I should be good if I only attack him once. Wow. Speaking of counterattacks, that thing is no joke. Okay. You go ahead and steal. Steal failed, of course. Why would would this be easy? Thankfully, I can kind of keep up with the damage it deals, depending on dice rolls. Okay, you go ahead and take out that thing. You just skip turns. Super alloy. What super alloy spear? Ooh, that sounds good. Honestly, maybe it's not, but. Um, I think only in Lots Needs Healing. That was a good heal. That was not a very good hit. There, you can bash him. And, um... I'll see who will finish him off. Maybe I should have had her finish it off. Oh, she's also 48. Let's see if Wellheart can kill it and get a level up from it. Oh, wow. Uh, right, it was his turn first. It's only fair, I guess. And level up? No, not quite. Well then. That was relatively quick. Guess I'm going to oops, go back to Gislam and turn those in. And then it's off to South Solarto. Well, first of all, heading back to the guild. Um, excuse me. Don't get in my way, please. Nope, not, don't accept jobs. Uh, get Bounty. That's what I want to do. Right, Pistario. Solazar. Judas. Celluloid. That is his name. Spooky Slot. And Rehith. Right. Deadly Hunter at 620 merits. Okay. And that should be all of them. Just making sure, yes. Good, good. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Well then. We're moving on to the third destination or third station on our round trip. There we go, South Solardo. Pandira, Testa. Oh, we, can we even? Yeah, we can re enter here. Interesting. Um, oh, Pandira was the uh, casino town, right? So, yeah, Testa has the guild. Right, right, right. <clears throat> I guess while we're here, we might as well go ahead and visit uh, Tosh as well. If we can. Hello. Sure. Why else would I be here? To talk to you guys? Come on. Hey there. What's going on here? Alec, it is good to see you again. What brings you to Testa? We're doing a series of jobs for the guild. Well, I mean, really we're just looking for guilds in the first place. Oh, uh, for guilds, for jobs in the first place. Hmm, I am tempted to go with you. I've been bored since you left. Well, it hasn't been Dalswell for us. It's been pretty much non-stop excitement city. We fought the Academy drones a few times and even got a, hover a hovercraft. And we did all that even with Lutz. Amazing, isn't it? Hey! I see you two are still combustible. It is not becoming to have companions that fight and bicker. Da, do we have to hear the speech again? Yes, and you should be grateful I do not backhand you for speaking to me that way. Oh, wow, Tosh. Chill. When you are cooperative and pleasant to each other, your jobs will go more smoothly. Eh, uh, I, I know. Well, we definitely are on the mother of all jobs now, that's for sure. The Academy is our target. Hmm, yes, the Academy. Shu has come occasionally to tell me of their activity. It is very worrisome. From his last report, I gathered that a showdown was inevitable. Do your best, Alec. I cannot leave this town, so you will have to prevail for me. I will do my best. Well, at least there is a, some custom dialogue. I mean, yeah, some special dialogue for visit revisiting old acquaintances. Even though it doesn't really avail much. So, where's the guild exactly? Was there even a guild? Or am I crazy? Oh, well, it's right here. Good, good. Let me guess. New Wanted Monsters? Go figure. Yep. I'm gonna check those out in just a moment. Oh! What do you know? Job number 72. Explore the treasure dungeon. Uh, that sounds interesting. Many hunters sent to investigate the recently discovered Kutau Temple have failed to return. Respond to this apparent dungeon and attempt to rescue missing hunters. Sure. This is a dangerous one. Watch your step. Is there a danger rating? Not really. It is worth 9 merits, which is quite a bit. Huh. Well, that sounds interesting, for sure. Let's see here. Uh, Terrestra, the Cockatrice in Hellplane. Nellister, the Shutternell in Hellplane, as well. Griefwing, the Mortality Shadow. <laughs> That's a, <laughs> a grave name. <laughs> Dongle Cape. That's um, an interesting looking one. Anamagon. Anamagon? The Marionette in Jungle Cape, I see. Hellman, the Skull King in a South. a Solarto South Wharf, right? And Cackler, the Abyssal Gargoyle, also in the Wharf. Okay. Again, we have two per location. And I'm going to check those out before I head into the dungeon, I think, to get those out of the way. 
Um, I might make this very short and not show much of it on camera. We'll see. As usual, if something looks interesting, I'm also going to rest before us, so I'm going to pause it right here. Okay, well, I guess forget what I just said. I'm going to show off the very first fight. So, as you can see, we have le these level 6 ogres here. Nothing too special. Level 20 ogre mage. And then this level 57 demon god. What the heck? That's definitely new. Also, sure, a demon god. Level 57. Demon god. No big deal. Um, let's not end the turn right now. Unfortunately, these are... Oh, wait. Fortunately... As I was going to say, these are positioned perfectly to be hit all at once. What the hell was that? Um, okay. Let's... Something wrong with your voice there? Hey, Demon God. What? What? Oh, you... You can res resurrect. That's um, a little bit annoying. Thankfully, the rest of the enemies are no big deal at all, but... That's... Um, Actually, I could just silence you and possibly remove a lot of the danger of this fight. Sure. Silence as many as we can. Okay, um, looks like... Yeah, they're all silenced, actually. That is perfect. So whatever nasty... Um... Terrestra might have done. It's also disabled now. That's awesome. Okay. Leveled up from slashing, attack, defense, agility, magic. And magic. Leveled up. I would like for him to to unlock a nice AoE attack if possible. That would be perfect. We'll see. Hmm. Dare I attack this entire group with AoE magic? I think I want to play a little bit safely and Trying not to hurt. Ah. Yeah, let's just do it like this. Let's not hurt the water monster. It's probably not gonna die. Uh, or w probably wouldn't have died, I should say. But, uh, you know, there's always a chance to trigger an unwanted counterattack. That would be unfortunate. Right. Thankfully, he can reach. failed, as expected, pretty much. I would also... Ooh, what is that? What? Was that instant death, or... Was he already so low? Well, that's annoying. It sets me back a little bit. Only a little bit, though. Uh, I would like to... I would like to try and steal from the ninja as well. Or the death god, as it were. I think he must have just killed him normally. Didn't really pay attention to um, lots of health there. Because uh, he shouldn't be able to use any special attacks, not just magic specifically. Unless I'm mistaken. Twelve damage. Well, that's uh, quite survivable. Hmm. Uh, my focus must be on the on the water monster. Emblem of Lark. Okay, that's uh, that prevents something mute, perhaps. I think it might be anti-mute. Oh god! Once more, he's taking heavy, heavy damage. Okay. Not sure if Belhart is in need of healing. Yes, he was. Good. Can you kill it? Uh, it's gonna be a little bit close, so maybe I should just go ahead and make sure. I'm going to let the, the demon god live for now. Right, so you can try stealing from it. Nothing to steal. Well, that's good to know. For the future. Agility plus two, okay, not that that's really needed at this point, but I'll take it. Ooh, 191 damage, holy crap. And these enemies are a few levels higher than most of us. Um, well, I mean, they're a few levels higher than all of us, any of us. 
But it's still okay. okay. Can you finish this one off? Almost wish I did. I hadn't healed him, so he could deal. Uh, could use his Omega Buster. Hmm. Not sure if Omega Breaker is gonna deal more damage than normal. Probably not. Eh, it's good damage. She can probably finish it off here if he hits. Uh, she hits. Yes. Okay. Well. You might be able to finish him off? Yep. Sweet. I think. I feel like let's deserve that one. Oh, right. I never checked out the. Uh, the spear. Not that I, I don't know why I remembered that right now. But I might as well take a look. Super alloy spear. That is. Well, it's okay damage. It does increase defense, but it looks like it's only an. The next step in the normal, um, normal material progression, basically, synthesize numerous, synthesize from numerous alloys, I guess. Hmm. Well, it's obviously not as good as what we have, especially when you consider the special effects of the rune spear. So, um, I guess. No, she has the no oh, falcon statue. Must be anti-mute. So, what was the? Emblem of Lark. Paralyze. Oh, okay. That's actually not bad. Of course, as I've said numerous times, but he is one of those. Um, you really can know for sure, uh, or un unless you know for sure what status effects enemies are going to use, you can really only guess and equip whatever you want to. It might come in useful or it might not. It's uh, a bit of a gamble. Unless, of course, you have prior knowledge. So, yeah, he's protected. Actually, most of us are protected from uh, from uh, paralyzation at this point. Which is good, I guess. No real reason to, cha and to change that. Right. Hmm. Okay, looks like we'll have the same enemies here. No real reason to keep recording at this point, um, but I'll at least see if the Wanted Monster shows up immediately. Uh, do I want to switch people around? Actually, we're all pretty much even in terms of level, so the current party can keep gathering a bit more experience before I change things around. No, we don't have a Wanted Monster. Okay, well, in that case I'm going to pause and, and show off something interesting if it comes up. Well, I guess this can be considered interesting, although I'm probably not going to show the actual fight, but we have a team of ninjas here, uh, including high ninjas and even ninja masters. Yeah, again, it's probably not going to be super exciting, um, but I at least wanted to show this off because it looks kind of special. So I'm going to deal with these and hopefully find the one monster sometime soon. Uh, so yeah, wish me luck. Okay, we are at Jungle Cape here for the sixth and final Wanted Monster. Uh, which is the most interesting one, too. So that's good. Um, in terms of interesting items, uh, stolen items, we got... Uh, wait a second. What did we get? Alright, we, we did get um, two weapons, actually. The Dark Spear. Um, which is, attack-wise, only slightly worse than uh, the Rune Spear that Theo is currently using. So it's not terrible. Um, it also says that it reduces light attribute damage, so I guess not only does it deal dark damage against light enemies, but also decreases light damage taken, so that seems good. Uh, and we just got the Vlad Wand from the previous Wand Monster, which I'm not entirely sure if this is a mistranslation or poorly worded, but recover HP of damage taken. I would assume that you would recover um, HP um, for damage dealt, right? Because for damage taken doesn't make sense. Um, other than that, right, we, get, we did get the uh, super potent apple, right? Uh, recovers 150 MP in uh, a radius, so that's great. Great to have. It might actually come in very handy at some point. Okay, um, 
as usual. That's pretty hurt. But most of these enemies are no big deal at all. Oh, Earth Fragment is nice. I'll take it. I think that's reasonably rare. Okay. Hmm, let's see. If he stands here. He can cure. What I definitely want to do to save on mana for our healer here, which is kind of running low. But I want to position her here ish. Shoot that thing. She might actually level up from killing some of these low level enemies. Or, or she might level up just now. That works. Magic plus two, always good. Um, you can card field all of us. Lutz in particular, so that he takes less damage. That's annoying. Not only does it take long, doesn't move him towards us, but also might mean that, oh god, both of them. That they don't de die in one hit. Okay. Please steal immediately, that would be nice. Nope. Of course not. Okay, damage cut in half, that's amazing. Um, 93. wonder if it's worth silencing that thing, just to make sure it doesn't use anything nasty. If it works, that is, it does. Okay, that's a counter hit, and it did not kill the fly. Oh, interesting. Only level 37, but they do have a decent amount of hit points. That's nice, I guess. That means um, she can possibly kill these in one shot. Wonderful. Okay, Theo's already level 50. Oh, and of course they go for Lance, because why not? Huh. Yeah, this one is even so hell-bent on on attacking Lass that doesn't even bother attacking an enemy that he can actually reach. Solar, that's a new one. In fact, what is that? Oh, there it is. Okay, huh. I'm not sure that, it's, that that's ever going to be useful. Looking at the huge amount of uh, healing items that we have. Yes. Uh, you know what? Come jump here and use your double illusion. Yes. Oh, what's this? Plus speed. Hmm. I don't know. Night Raid is probably not going to do much. Let's just go with this. It looks pretty cool. And it has, has a very nice large area of effect at this point. Uh, similarly, his Cross Javelin has expanded significantly. And deals pretty okay damage, honestly. Okay. Um, who do I want this to... Uh, to kill, or who do, I, who do I want to kill this thing, rather? Um, I think Cheryl. She might be the lowest party member at this point, at 49, which is pretty amazing. Okay, she's not going to counter, but she should definitely be able to finish it off now. Like so. Okay, cool. That was successful. And unless I severely miscounted, that should be it for the Wonder Monsters here. Alright, oh, yeah, yeah. So, the job we accepted, um, the Ruin Exploration. Okay, there we go. I'm going to...
start that. I mean, we're only at 40-ish minutes at this point. So we're still good in terms of time. Definitely want to at least take a look at a get bounty. Yeah. Wait, what? Yes, okay. Um, Terrestrial, Mellister, Griefwing, Anamagon, Hellman, All right. Kegler, and that's it. Job say. Mm -hmm. Kutau Temple. Newly discovered, or recently discovered Kutau Temple. To its apparent dungeon. Right. I didn't really pay attention, but it, I guess it must be the uh, the cave that is visible on the map. Since it doesn't specify something else. I'm going to go ahead and heal real quick. Also, I guess save the game. I haven't done that in a while. Something else that has crossed my mind is... Um, I should probably go ahead and look into crafting some better armor for our party. Um, here. Well, a lot of time has passed. Most of that, not on camera. But I guess there's also some idle time in there. So yeah, because, uh, I mean, mostly those wanted monsters, but also other high-level enemies are just dealing tremendous amounts of damage to us. Nothing immediately too threatening, because we do also have pretty pretty decent supplies of hit points at this point. But So is that actually it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well then. Let's check it out. Yeah. I mean, we'll see how tough the enemies in here are going to be. Oh, hey, Tosh. Didn't expect to see you here. Or did it say that he was the client? I didn't actually pay attention. Huh? Alec, strange to cross paths with you in a place like this. Really? Is it so strange? Have you come here on business? Yes, we have come on a guild job. What are you doing here? I heard word that an ancient temple rune had been discovered here. Rumors were circulating that it was filled with various treasures. I came to investigate for myself. You came here alone? Yes, I did not see the need to travel accompanied by my guard. Well, do you wish to continue traveling alone? Why do you ask? I was just thinking that there is strength in numbers. Right. I agree. Uh, pff, sure, why not? Tosh, would you join us in exploring this place? I mean, we we'll really don't need him, and honestly... Using him for this job is going to make people of our actual party miss out on experience, but, you know, there, there probably aren't too many of these opportunities, so... Um, are you certain? Of course. We would be honored if you would join us. I shall accompany you, then. Great. Nothing can beat us now. Not that anything could have beaten us before, but, you know... Okay, so, hmm, this looks like a trap. It might not be, but we'll see. Hey, Tosh. It's grayed out, uh, because I can't change his equipment at all. Makes sense, I guess, for a guest character. Earth Fragment. Well, not a trap, interestingly enough. Let's go left. For, oh, it's gonna be one of these. Is this the exit, then? It seems to be. Yes. Okay. Uh, no. Right. We are looking for people, primarily. So left... Is left always going to produce the same result? It is. So is right. Huh. Okay. Down is not. Interesting. Well, let's try the same thing here. Okay. Weird. So it's not a Lost Woods kind of thing? That goes down. Uh-oh. Let's not change levels quite yet. Okay, the markings on the floor seem to be always the same. Um, 
Okay, wait. This is where we came from. And this... wraps around. Does it? Or it, it could just be a series of similar looking rooms, or same looking, but it's not. Huh. Interesting. So is down gonna go anywhere? It is not. So it's not quite Lost Woods, but something like it? Unless there really is a, a specific combination. I guess it might just be a lot simpler, at least for now. So far it looks like uh, only two two exits out of each of these uh, four exit rooms are going to lead to, well, um, progress and back to where you came, respectively. And the other two are just wrap runs. Okay, at least here we have more options, so it's going to be a little bit more complicated for that reason alone. But so long as... Okay, this one does not wrap around. Uh, except it does. Well then, let's try right. Okay, right leads to treasure. I'll take it. Black Talisman, I think that's just uh, dark protection. The Light Heal, okay. And an Earth Amulet. That's Earth Protection. Um, items. Black Talisman, yep. Delight heal. Okay. Recovers 10 HP and MP each turn. Wow. That seems pretty powerful. 10 HP and MP. That is m mostly going to be useful for the MP recovery, I think. Now, who's running into most mana problems? It's probably Alec. Honestly. Um, being protected from paralysis is really good, but... Oh, of course he can't wear the heals. That makes sense, I guess. Well, in that case, hmm, Marcia has so much, so much mana though, and uses up so little of it that it really doesn't make sense for her to regenerate. And Cheryl, if she can even use it, well, just out of curiosity, let's see. She could. Uh, what's the Tanzanite do again? Um, wait, there it is. Com prevent confusion, huh? I mean, sure. The same really, really goes for her. I never, I've never run into mana problems with her, but she does have much less of a reserve. Show. So if she were to use uh, many of her skills in some fight, she might actually uh, run out. So sure. Let's try the second one on the left. That's also treasure. Okay. Wind fragment. I'll take it. Dark amulet again. Wait. No, oh, that's t that's different. It's not a talisman. Uh, greatly reduces dark attribute. Oh, okay, so Emil is just better version of the talisman. I see. Dark amulet. Yes. Well, still dark fragment. Okay. Second one on the right seems to wrap around. Does this go back immediately? It does. But I assume this is going to bring us to a second on the left. It does. Well, this is still really, really simple. Simplistic almost. Fight! Yeah, okay. I was wondering if there would be any enemies in this dungeon. Let's see, what do our levels say? He's level 40. Huh. I guess that speaks volumes about where we are supposed or expected to be at this point. Um, but again, I've never really grinded. I've just been doing all jobs and hunting missions and doing very few fights apart from that. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, do I want to use Tosh? I mean, as I said, in terms of hit points, I don't know, uh, hit points, experience points, I'd rather not. 
uh, at the same time. Hmm. Well, Cheryl needs some more experience. Theo doesn't necessarily, so there. Just to have him use have have used Tosh at least once. He's also not fully healed. Why is that? Huh. Okay. What enemies do we have? Level 20? 54. Okay. So at least one of them is uh, not entirely laughable. Bye bye. Well, I guess let's start with the healing here. Uh, wait, what? Oh, she regenerated. Okay. I think she hit. Yeah, she did me hit. Okay, and he can resurrect. Sure. He w absolutely wants to waste his turn like that. Who am I to stop him? Let's see. Normal attack? Pretty powerful, honestly, for level 40. Not terrible at all. Okay, he decided to specifically not attack Tosh. I, I guess it's probably for the better. Steal? Nothing to steal. That's a bummer. Uh, yeah, in turn you can... Honestly, I don't know if I really want this regeneration. It's gonna take some time each turn, and most of the time for no good reason. Okay, he resurrects again. Does Tosh have some kind of AoE attack? Right, that's a single target attack, that's a distant attack. Uh, steal HP, paralyze, okay. In that case, why don't you just finish him off? I mean, he, he does gain experience, though, does he? Yeah, absolutely. Not as much as I would have expected from killing such an, an enemy that much more powerful than he was. Yeah. Finish it off. Because you're not worth anything for any of us. That should lead us back. It does not. Oh. So th this might be progress. Dang it. So third on the left. Um, I have a bad feeling about having to redo this fight, possibly. Let's see what this leads us. Oh, treasure, okay. Not what I expected. Wind amulet. Hmm. Yeah, this is not going as expected at all. What's down here? Another new place. Oh god. Okay, this is this suddenly became a lot more confusing than it was before. I definitely want to make my way back to the initial corridor. If that means to... We have to refight. Yeah, sounds like it. Music changing. That's unfortunate. Not too bad, though. i um, going to skip this fight, though. I mean, skip it in the recording. So, uh, yeah. And we're back here. This is probably just a one huge waste of time, because... Both remaining exits are probably not going to lead anywhere, except they do. Okay, it's not expected. I guess it's better than the alternative. In a way. <laughs> On the other hand, it makes this dungeon even more complicated than I first expected. So what are you guys? Talking Tina, uh, that's a name. Marionettes, okay. I've seen those in the form of the Wanted Monster. Hmm. Well then. Let's go ahead and rain some knives on them. How many can I possibly hit? Four at once seems good. And he's going to take the first wave of attacks, or not? Oh. What are they doing? Is it paralyzed? Gra no, gravity. Gravity. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. They swarm him? That's actually perfect. Wow, they also deal a lot of damage. That's actually not great. He might be dead. Yep. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. But they... I mean, on the, on the plus side, they did bunch up nicely, allowing me to... Well, they would allow me to attack them with a nice AoE attack. Do I want to do that? Maybe some Crystal Dust. In here. It's too good an opportunity to pass up. I could have... Whoa, that's a lot more damage than I expected. Okay. Yes. Gravity Nut, and he leveled up. Sweet. I mean, I... Generally, I want to... I want my characters to be on the same-ish level. But I definitely don't mind my main character to be a bit ahead. And Cheryl's going to get her level up now anyway, so... There's that. Okay. That's increased. You can wait here, maybe it's going to attack you. It is. Counter attack, maybe? Nope. Not from behind. Although I guess that's technically possible. Uh, let's see here. Resurrect, let's... There you go. Right. You can attack it. And you can use Okarai Bakuzen. Four? 130. Well, probably not a whole lot more than he would have dealt anyway, but. Guess we don't have very many opportunities to even see his special attacks in, in action. Attack, defense, agility? Eh, good enough. Not sure what good it's, his level ups are going to do me. Unless these guest characters do play a greater role at some point in the future? Who knows? Okay, and this also leads to another um, special location. Dang it. Now I wish I... Oh, wait. Oh, so this... Okay. This is all one huge wraparound. That makes a bit more sense. Did I check this? I did not, in fact, check this. Okay. It appears that something is written on the stone table. Yeah, that does appear that way. There is but one vortex. You must harness the power of the three stone tablets to challenge fate. One vortex. Ch harness the power of the three stone tablets to challenge fate. This being one of the tablets, I presume? Okay. Interesting. So this is... Still symmetric, right? There is... Oh, right, there are these two rooms with exits down. Um, sure, let's check that. Right, that leads here. Hollow nut, always good. Three more exits. Dang it, now I don't remember what the other room... That other small room was. Um... Or rather, I, I, I mean, I had I had tried the other one and come to a similar intersection. Now I wonder if that's the same one. But I don't remember seeing this, a chest there. It might be that I didn't walk far enough down. Yeah, this is going to be the fight respawned. I do want to check the uh, southern exit of the, the initial corridor, though. Which most likely is not going to lead anywhere, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, do this off camera though. Okay, and we're finally back here. Only to find out that this leads to another one of these corridors. There might actually be three of these. Huh. Are they actually interconnected? Yes, they are. Okay, I, so I didn't have to do those refights at all. Obviously, I couldn't know beforehand. Huh. Interesting. Um, so, there should be three of these. This should lead to one of the small rooms, yes. Okay, so at least the, that's like, there is, um, well, geographical continuity, or geometrical 
continuity in that regard. So this should lead back to the uh, corridor. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, it does. Okay. Um, well, we will stop it here for now. I'm going to resume my exploration of this uh, intriguing temple. Certainly, it might be the most interesting dungeon we've seen so far. Just because it's so different. Um, I certainly like it. I'm also okay with relatively few fights, or at least up to this point. That might change later, but... Yeah, I, I do like the treasure to, to combat ratio here. Also the exploration and... Well, pretty much everything about it. Um, we'll see how much longer it's going to to go on. I can see this becoming tedious if it uh, if it drags on, but we'll see. Anyway, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.